be doing Barack Obama versus Donald Trump a hypothetical 2024 election prediction. Now, of course, Barack Obama could not seek for re-election as he's already served two terms, but let's assume he, he can and the Supreme Court decision that abandoned presidents from serving two, more than two terms does not exist to get scrapped. But we do have to keep in mind that American people will likely not see a, like a president who has already served two terms serve again, but Donald Trump, he has only served one term after losing the 2020 general election. So let's get right into today's prediction. Starting with Barack Obama's safe states again, my margins are in the description down below. I believe Obama should end up with 114 electoral votes, if I am correct here. So, yeah, it's 114 electoral votes. I've leaved out a bunch of states because of the national environment and because I think Obama just won't be able to do very well in a third time for re-election. We have, of course, the Donald Trump safe states as well. Um, we're going to characterize basically all the states. He has one in 10, 20 by safe margin, plus Kansas, Alaska, and yes, and Nebraska's first district, which is our, our plus exactly 15%, which was a likely margin. I'm going to leave out South Carolina because Barack Obama is a African-American, and black people, African-Americans, tend to do better. And of course, black majority or a, a state in which there's a large black population. So yeah, now going to the likely states for Barack Obama, he has of course a lot that were not in the safe column. That does not mean they're going to be competitive, nor does that mean they're going to flip. It's just going to be closer in general. Now Colorado as well, I think Obama should be able to win. New Mexico, you can argue likely as well, but, and yeah, he won, won the state by 15, once by 10, but recently the Democrats haven't, haven't been able to do too well, but and if we look at generic ballot polling, we look at the state's trends in some areas, I think it's going to be a better fit for lean. Again, my margins under the um, under description down below. The likely states, I don't think that those are going to be too surprising here. I don't know how it could be, again, South Carolina, I think it's pretty obvious at this point. Iowa, Ohio, those states have been trending down Republican, um, but again... Obama was able to carry both of those states in 2012 and 2008, and in 2008, he carried those states by pretty decent margins, actually, so those states could narrow down. I could see Ohio being a lean margin, but yeah, Obama running for a third term is really not going to help. Going to the state of Texas, of course, that's going to be a likely state for Donald Trump. Obama's going to do worse here. He could do better in the Hispanic border, but really, Houston... Dallas, San Antonio, Austin, a lot of those areas, Barack Obama is going to perform worse. Florida and North Carolina as well, both of those states have characterized them together. Florida, a Hispanic population is just trending Republican. There's no saying of denying that. And the state of North Carolina, North Carolina, although there's a heavy black or minority population, I think Trump should still be able to win the state as a lot of the rural areas simply would not prefer Obama. So we do have some states left. Trump has won every single state and two more electoral votes that has, he has did in 2020. The only state, actually a district that haven't given Donald Trump that he won in 2020 was Maine's second congressional district. And because Obama won the, both of those elections in the, the district by comfortable margins, I'm going to come back to that later. Obama's slain state shouldn't surprise you. Virginia and New Mexico, those states are not going to go for Donald Trump. Even if it means they're going to get more competitive, they're not going to vote for Donald Trump. Maine as well. I think it's pretty obvious at this point Obama could even win it by a likely margin. Actually, I will put it as likely because he won both of his elections in Maine's at large by 15 points or above. So a safe margin. I think that he's not going to lose over 10% of support, so I actually put it as likely. And yeah, so Minnesota as well, there's a heavy black presence there. Not as heavy as I initially thought, but it's still a heavy black presence. And we saw, saw those BLM protests slash riots, or whatever you call them. And there was a battle initiative that almost passed in Minnesota that got almost got rid, or I think Minneapolis, that almost got rid of the entire police force. So it was 54 to 46, I believe. It, it failed, of course, 
but it was still a ballot initiative. So that basically says to me that Minnesota is not going to flip, especially with Barack Obama. So yeah, now going to the lean states for Donald Trump here. We of course have Arizona, Georgia. Obama's appeal is just not going to be too well there. Georgia, I mean, he's not going to do very well in the suburban areas. He might do very well, well in Atlanta, Augusta, those kinds of areas, but he's just not going to do very well in areas like Cobb, Gwinnett. You get the idea. So, main second, I did leave it out. Obama won both of those elections there by a likely margin, but I still think it's going to go for Trump. Like, he did very well in this district. There's no denying that whatsoever. And Nebraska second as well. Up as Lane, Obama just does not have the appeal there. I'm going to go with the Rust Belt here. Wisconsin's going to be lean for Donald Trump. That does put him over the threshold because I think... Look at Wisconsin. Obama did win both of those elections in the state of Wisconsin, but the second time was remarkably closer, and Trump was able to do very well. I mean, Ramya, of course, McCain definitely was not going to do very well in the Rust Belt. I think there's no denying of that whatsoever. So, yeah, there's still four states left. Trump's going to pick off. Let's first go to the state of New Hampshire here. Um, I think that, in generally speaking, the popular vote is just not going to favor the Democrats. I get it. Obama did win the state by, like, uh, by a decent margin, but in 2012, he actually underperformed Biden in 2020, which is never a good sign when you're, voting. you're earning more of the pop, um, electoral college votes than Joe Biden. And don't forget, the... Popular vote margin was only four points for Barack Obama, so nothing too significant. There, it wasn't a landslide, as people may expect here. So there's three states left. Let's start with Nevada. If there was a Hispanic um, pre president, maybe the state will go Democrat, but yeah, I think it's going to go Republican because of the natural environment. Remember, Biden only won the state by two and a half percentage points. Well, you have Pennsylvania and Michigan. Both of those states are going to vote Republican, in my opinion. Now, they're going to be closer than if it's a Biden or a Harris or a Sanders, but really, whatever. I think Trump just has a significant appeal there. Remember, Trump only won the state, lost the state of Pennsylvania by 1.2% and Michigan by just 2.8%. So he could easily pick off those margins. And don't forget, Biden won the popular vote by five. That's not likely to happen. With Obama again in 2024. So yeah, that ends this electoral map with 317 for Donald Trump, 221 for Barack Obama. But make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching for in today's video. And also follow me on Twitter. The Twitter link will be in the pinned comments. Thanks for watching today's video. And do make sure to make me a new channel banner and a channel logo. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. And bye.